From Global's newsroom at 10 o'clock, more than 70 Conservative MPs could rebel on the government's new coronavirus measures for England later. They're unhappy about proposals to make it compulsory for some venues to require people to show a Covid pass on entry. LBC's political editor Theo Usherwood has more on how the system will work. You either show the fact that you've had a double vaccination or you can show that you've had a lateral flow test that's turned out to be negative in the last 48 hours. It will also include some pubs with dance floors, restaurants with dance floors that serve alcohol after 1am. A A number of Conservative MPs are very unhappy about it. We're expecting a rebellion of around 80. Boris Johnson is going to have to rely on Keir Starmer's support. For a second day running, there are issues surrounding home deliveries of lateral flow tests. The UK government website says there are none available, but that they can still be collected from pharmacies. Ministers say the issues are with delivery systems rather than supply. Controversial plans to reform the Human Rights Act are due to be set out in the Commons. Campaigners have described the proposals as a power grab that will weaken the rights of ordinary people. But the Justice Secretary Dominic Raab has told LBC the changes will prevent abuses of the system and strengthen freedom of speech. It's a quintessentially British freedom. It is the liberty that guards all of the others. And we have seen it eroded in recent years by a combination. I think under EU law, you had the right to be forgotten. We've seen incredible incrementally principles of continental style privacy approaches to legal protections introduced, which is not really the tradition in this country. The number of job vacancies in the UK has risen to another new record. Official figures show they went up to 1.2 million between September and November, but they did drop in the last month of the quarter. There was also a large rise in the number of payrolled workers. Ocado has reported falling sales, blaming cost pressures, worker shortages and more customers heading back to offices. In the 13 weeks to the end of November, sales at the online grocer were down 3.9% to £548 million. The average basket size per customer dropped 12%. In the city a short time ago, the FTSE 100 was uh, up 32 points at 72.63 and the pound buys $1.32 and €1.17. LBC weather, cloudy and mild for most, wet and windy for the northwest of the UK and some patchy drizzle in the south, a high of 14 degrees. From Global's newsroom for LBC, I'm Simon Conway.